In this video, I'm showing you some easy ways to restyle a simple t-shirt and jeans. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to everyone who's new here. My name is Ashley Park. This is Park Avenue, and I have tons of fashion content for you to check out. But I also have home content and vlogs, so check out some of my other videos. And when you find something you like, be sure to subscribe, and don't forget to turn on those notification bells because I upload three times a week and I don't want you to miss any of my videos. So in today's video, I'm showing you guys how to change up a simple t-shirt and jeans. We love t-shirts and we love jeans. They're just really easy basics and wardrobe staples. So let's get the most out of them. I'm gonna show you guys how to style them up some different ways. Now here's the first look I wanna show you guys. And this one is very simple, very chill. It's an easy look. I gotta run around town. I gotta run some errands, but I don't have time to do too much, but I still wanna be cute. This is the look. Now all I did here was a little half tuck with my t-shirt, and then I threw on my Coach Parker bag. It's a nice pop of pink, but it's very subtle. It's like a pale pink. And then I threw it on crossbody because I wanted to keep it casual, and wearing it on my shoulder I feel would have changed the vibe a little bit. So I wanted to keep it casual, just wear it crossbody. And if you have a handbag that is a little bit special, or maybe something you wouldn't necessarily think to pair with the t-shirt and jeans, throw it on and wear it crossbody if you can, and see how you feel about it. And then for my shoes, I'm just wearing my Birkenstocks. These are white with the pink floral print. I just wanted to keep the pinks going. Very easy. I love Birkenstocks for like a regular everyday kind of a sandal because they're comfortable and you can wear them around a lot. And depending on the color you choose, you can wear your Birkenstocks with really fun and funky outfits too. So I like that about these. And for my shades, I went with a pair of Tom Ford glasses that I have. I love that they have a rosy pink tint to them. And I like the fact that they're not too dark and I can still wear them inside when I go places. I do prefer sunglasses that are a little bit more sheer because a lot of times when I put on a pair of sunglasses, they're part of my outfit, like they're part of the ensemble. So I don't like to have to take them off, especially if I'm running errands. I don't wanna have to take them on and off constantly. That's just a personal preference, but of course, whatever you have, whatever pair of shades you have that you prefer, they're gonna look great with this look. The point is that this is just a really easy outfit, but the accessories pull it all together just a little bit, just enough so you feel cute, but you can, you know, run around town very casually. Here's the next look I wanna show you guys. And this one I think is perfect for travel. It's definitely giving a travel vibe and it's perfect if you need to spend some time in the airport where it's freezing and you can have an extra layer. But you can also wear this into the office if you have a casual work environment or you have like a Friday where you can wear something more casual or if this is just your style, like you just have a preppy kind of a style then this look is for you. Now, all I did here was a simple t-shirt and jeans. I threw on one of my favorite sweaters from Zara over my shoulders, and that's just gonna be perfect if, we're, if you're inside anywhere that's cold and you wanna have an extra layer. What I like most about this outfit, and the reason why I think it's great for travel, is because you have that extra layer with the sweater, you also have on your mules. Like these mules I'm wearing are Gucci mules. And if you watch this channel, if you've been an OG, you know that these are one of my favorite pair of shoes, just period. But I love these for traveling because, you know, when you're going through the airport, you have to take off your shoes, you gotta take off your sweater, and it's a whole to do. So you can be comfortable and it's easy breezy with this kind of an outfit. And then I just added my Burberry tote. So you can throw all your travel essentials in there. You can throw your laptop if you're wearing this to work, your tablet or whatever you need, you know, your everyday things you can put in that bag and don't have to worry about it. It's just a very easy outfit, but it looks rich and it looks like you have yourself put together. Very casual, but very cute. Next up, I wanna show you guys a look that you can wear out for drinks. Maybe you just have a dinner or a brunch or something simple, but you wanna just dress it up just a little bit. So I styled the t-shirt and jeans here with my Chanel belt. Now a chain belt can be a very good statement. It's just a really nice, impactful gold accessory. Of course you can do silver, or bronze or whatever color you prefer, whatever metal, but I do like gold. I think that is just so beautiful and I love this belt. I haven't really talked much about this belt with you guys, but if you wanna know more about it, let me know in the comments. I'll talk about it like in maybe another luxury haul or an update video, or maybe I'll put it in a vlog. Just let me know if you guys wanna know more about this belt. But love, love, love. It has a little pearl detail and I just like the added elevation that it brings to every outfit. And then I just threw on my Bottega sandals. The color is a pop, but still very simple. The shoe is overall very simple. It spirals up the leg a little bit. So I cuffed the jeans and just pushed them up just a little bit so you can see more of the detail of the shoe. 
And overall, a very simple outfit, but the pieces, they just make it a little bit more of a statement. And then the bag that I chose, it's actually not even a bag. Well, it is a clutch, but I had this a part of like a Tory Burch handbag that I had a while back. It was like an insert. And then I would sometimes just take it out and wear it as a clutch if I was going out after work or something. And I have long gotten rid of that bag. It's been out of my collection for some years now. But I kept this little clutch because I liked it to just throw in another bag or to wear as an actual clutch, you know, like as a bag itself. So any kind of a neutral you can wear here. If you have something that's gold, that's going to be cute as well. But I do like to make sure that my golds are not clashing, like the golds are not too different. So that's the only reason why I didn't throw in one of my gold bags. But I do like to add that extra, um, like, layer of, like, color, texture, like, pattern. There's a pattern on here. It's like a snake print. And that was a nice addition to the outfit. Here's the next look I want to show you guys. And I just threw on a blazer with the t-shirt and jeans. Very simple, very easy. And it just really elevates a look, but you can still do it very casually. I love a blazer. You guys already know that. I love to add a blazer to most looks because it just polishes them up no matter if you're dressing it up or wearing it casual. This blazer that I'm wearing is from Zara. I love the blue. It's a nice pop, but you can do any color. That's what's great about this. You can do any color you want. You can do purple, you can do pink, you can do a pattern, you can do a print, anything you want here. And it'll look really cute. All I did was just push up the sleeves like I usually do. Now this blazer has some silver in it. And you guys know I don't really wear silver like that, but I love this blazer so much I didn't even mind. I threw on my sneakers. These are my Nike sneakers that have like an iridescent check. I think I got these from the last Nordstrom anniversary sale, maybe the one before last. If you are an OG and you've been watching my channel a while, let me know in the comments if you remember which sale I got this um, sneaker from. It might've been the last one, but I'm pretty sure I got it from the Nordstrom anniversary sale. I love these sneakers because of that iridescent check. It goes with a lot of stuff and it's a lot of fun. It adds a lot of fun to the outfit. And so that's why I pair these with the silver um, on the buttons because, you know, it's in that silver family. I love this look. Very simple, very casual, but easy. And the blazer really polishes it up. Here's the last outfit that I want to show you guys. And this is perfect for going out to dinner. Maybe you're going to be having some drinks, even a little dancing because this shoe is comfortable. So let's start with the blazer. This is old Zara. I've had this blazer for a while. But I did notice that Zara did this blazer again, like a version of it. So I'll link whatever they have for you guys in the description box. And then the t-shirt and jeans, very simple. I did do white on white. And I was kind of hesitant. I really was at first just because I didn't want the whites to be too different. But when I put it on, it just paired really nicely. But if you feel like you can't do it or you're struggling with your whites or you're just not sure if it works out, you can change up the blazer color. You can do a camel blazer because I was also gonna go with camel and then keep everything gold. But I like the white on white. So let me know what you think about it. Let me know if you're gonna be like doing white on white or maybe you're gonna be switching it up and doing a color blazer. But of course the t-shirt and jeans again. And then I threw on my Gucci wallet on a chain. I just wore it like as a belt bag kind of a thing on my hip. Very cute. I love it style that way as well. And then I'm wearing my gold platform shoes. Now these are comfortable. They have the platform, which adds comfort, a nice thick heel, which is also really comfortable. So they are very high. They're very high, but they're also very comfortable. So I love this look. If I have to do any walking, any dancing, anything like that, I can still be comfortable, but be really cute. So I like that. Now, one thing I want to point out about this outfit is I just tweaked the jeans just a little bit. I did a little bit of a cuff and just like scrunched them up a little bit, almost like a jogger. I wanted to keep some balance with this outfit. And if I would have worn the jeans like the normal way a little bit longer, even though they're cropped, it could have made the outfit like overall, it would have been too heavy. The shoes are pretty chunky. The jeans would have been longer. The blazer's long line. It could have gone wrong. So just a little tweak like that can change the whole look. That is it, you guys. Those are some simple ways you can spice up a very basic t-shirt and jeans. Those are pieces that we love and we wear all the time, but it's nice to get more out of them, you know, so you can feel like you're wearing something different every time you pull them out. Let me know in the comments which one was your favorite. I'll have links to everything that's still available for you guys in the description box. And then I'll also link some other options for things that aren't available. And I'll just also link some really great options for t-shirt and jeans for you guys as well. So be sure to check the description box. And if you want to check me out on any other platforms, I'll have links to other places you can find me, Instagram, Pinterest. And Pinterest is a great place to follow me because I upload individual uh, outfit pictures. So that way you guys can build your own boards, your own fashion boards and outfit inspo. You don't have to go back and watch all of my videos. 
So thank you guys so much for watching. And the closet sale is live, you guys. If you wanna shop my closet, check the description box for the link as well. We're updating the website and adding new pieces all the time, so be sure to check that out. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you made it this far and you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? I would love to have you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Oh.